The Biomex 900 2023 edition. It's here, I'm reviewing it, let's go. Hey, so just a quick heads up, I'm actually affiliated with this company. What that means is if you use the discount code or discount link down below, you save, but I get a cutback. The company doesn't pay me to make content. All my reviews are genuine and I just tell it how it is. I've been doing this for a long time. I like red light therapy and I know how beneficial it is. And if I like the product, I'm going to say that. Okay, so what do you need to know about it? Yes, this is a slightly updated version. The biggest addition, you may see it when I turn it on here, is the addition of blue lights. I'm going to explain more about that shortly. Otherwise, what else do you need to know? Well, this is a red light therapy panel from the company Platinum LED Therapy Lights. This company has been around for, I think, a decade now, maybe longer. They are well known in the red light therapy space, well regarded. Their panels have consistently performed well in my reviews and comparison series. In fact, the Biomax 900, the previous generation, is my personal go-to red light therapy device. Will I be incorporating this new panel into my setup? Well, that's what this review is all about. So again, let's go back to the key updates. Firstly, we have those blue LED lights. So I'll just turn this off so you can see it better. We have the blue LED lights. We also have a new wireless control system. So it actually comes bundled with this rather basic yet kind of useful remote. That is cool. You can control the device through an app. If you've seen my Biomax 300 review, I've gotten deep into that. I've also done dedicated reviews on the remotes. There is a professional remote you can buy. It's about $100. That effectively just does everything that the app does, but puts it into a battery-powered device. Personally, it's not something I recommend, but check out the review if you want to know more about that. It still uses the amazing touchscreen control system, which is, like I said, amazing. Something I've raved about for some time now. This particular panel is the big brother in the Biomax series. It is the 900, which means there are 300 LEDs. Those LEDs are split between red light, near infrared light, and as I mentioned earlier, the blue LEDs. You're only getting six blue LEDs in here. It's only 2% of the total power output going to the blue LEDs. And I'll unpack that a little bit later in the pros and cons section. But if you are worried about the blue LEDs, please note that you can disable them and just run your red and your near infrared light. The Biomax 900 measures 36 inches tall, 12 inches across and three inches deep. It comes included with all your hanging accessories, a really nice high gloss manual, eye protection and power cables. Finally, in addition to the blue wavelengths, you're getting five red and the infrared wavelengths. What I'm gonna do now is fire up the spectrometer. We're gonna have a look at exactly what is being emitted from this and also test the power figures. All right, so I'm just running the red LEDs first and as you can see, there is a peak here at 630 and then the second peak at 660. Let's have a look at near infrared now. Okay, so now I'm running just the near infrared light what I'm going to do is move around the face of the panel and you'll notice that the graphs are going to change quite a lot. And that is because out of the near infrared light, 80% is going to 850 and the remaining 20% is split between 810 and 830. So that means you're getting bulk of your light coming into the 850 range, which is why we don't see that much 810 and 830. However, this particular graph here does a pretty good job of showing them. So here we have the 810 peak, there we have the 8. 30 or it's slightly higher 838 and then here we have 854 okay finally let's look at the blue all right so here's blue running all on its own we see a peak of 470 nanometers and with all the lights running at the same time depending where you are in front of the panel you may see something like this you got your blue your reds and then your wide range of near infrared light Okay, so the great thing about all this is, yeah, my numbers do match up reasonably close with Platinum LED's numbers. A Little bit of a discrepancy with the blue light, but nothing major. Now, what about the power output figures? Well, Platinum LED over at the website have a claimed reading at six inches of 185 milliwatts over centimeter squared. This number is very, very high, and I believe that they're using a solar meter to test their numbers. As I've covered in other videos, solar meters aren't the best or the most reliable way to measure power radiance figures. So what I'm gonna do is use my spectrometer to see what figures I get. So the numbers I'm about to give you are with the blue LEDs off. I'm only looking at red and near infrared light. I had a peak power radiance of 90 milliwatts over centimeter squared and an average at nine different points at 71 milliwatts over centimeter squared. This came out to be a total power output figure of 143 watts. How do my numbers compare to the Platinum LED's claim numbers? 
oh, it's less than half, which is a little bit disappointing, but to be honest, it's something we see quite often when companies are using solar meters to test their irradiance figures. And how do these figures compare to competitors' products? Well, it ranks seventh place for irradiance figures when looking at wall panels that I've tested and fourth place for total power output, again, in the wall panel category. You can go in and see all this data over at Light Therapy Insiders and check out the shopping tool. What about EMF and sound? Well, there were no issues on the EMF front. Sound came out to be 51 decibels, which is not too bad for a panel of this size. Okay, so what about price? Well, this panel sells for 1,259 US dollars. I don't have a discount code to share with you, but if you purchase through the referral link that I'll share with you below, you will save 5% at the checkout. This means you can get the Biomax 900 for 1,196 US dollars. When it comes to shipping, shipping to the States is about 30 or 40 US dollars. Shipping to Canada is about $80 and shipping to the UK or Australia, you're looking at about 220 US dollars. If we take all of these numbers and do a value calculation, you're spending about $8.36 to get one watt of therapeutic red light. In its class, this comes out to be a seventh place ranking. All right, what about stands and accessories? Well, there actually are a lot of options here. I'm gonna run through them all. First up, there is that professional remote I talked about earlier, it's $100. You can get a mobile rack stand for $329, a horizontal stand for $329, a wall mounting bracket, which is what I use for my Biomax 900s, that's $74. A mobile floor stand for $139, or a motorized stand for $730 odd dollars. The motorized stand is really nice. I've done a review on a lot of these stands if you wanna check them out. I also need to mention that it has a three year warranty and a 60 day return period. If you do return the panel within that 60 days, you'll spend $50 if you live in the USA, or 20% of the cost if you live outside of the USA which is a lot. Okay, so now for the pros and cons. First up, what do I like about it? Well, you are buying from a company that is highly regarded in the red light therapy space. They've been involved in not only red light therapy, but LED panels for over 12 years now. And they are also the panels that I've been using for the last few years and have had great results. So the credibility is definitely there. You're getting all the key accessories bundled in the box, including a really nice high gloss manual. Size wise, it is 12 inches across and I think that's great. To be honest, I'm even thinking now 15 or even 18 inches across may be better suited. But 12 is a lot better than the typical six or nine inches that we often see. The bundled remote control, though simple, is rather useful and I like the fact that it's rechargeable so you don't have to worry about batteries. Plus there is that free app that allows you to control the panel from your phone. Ease of operation and setup is also a big win here. The touchscreen control panel is really, really nice to use. You can do a lot of things with this control panel and it just works really nicely. Also, these new 2023 Biomax panels have wireless connectivity. So if you do get multiple panels and wanna link them all up, whether it's in one big stand or spread out across the room, for instance, you can do it through the control panel and it all performs wirelessly. There's no running cables. I also like the fact that there are various customer support options. You have email, live chat, and also a phone number that you can call the dedicated team in America. I do like the power output figures here. It is a good solid number. Yes, there are more powerful panels out there, but some people were actually shying away from these high numbers now and looking for a lower intensity. Of course, with the control panel here, you can change the intensity all the way down from 1% up to 100%. So if you are gonna do a longer treatment time or are worried about those higher dosages, you can still benefit from that through this panel. Okay, and now of course we have the blue light. As you can see here, it is very easy to enable or disable through the control panel. Some people like it. There are benefits to blue light. We've written an article on that, links are gonna be below but not everyone is gonna like it. And it's why you're gonna see blue light also coming up in the con section. The final pro here is that if you buy multiple panels, you actually get a discount. So if you wanna buy two or three or four, like I've done with my quad biomax setup, you're gonna get a nice little discount at the checkout process. Okay, so now for the downsides. First up, there's no rope pulley system. We've seen this in past panels, it allows you to easily adjust the height Unfortunately, that they don't come included with the Platinum LED panels anymore. Instead, you get this chain. Now, if you're someone who's just gonna set this up and leave it at that height, a chain actually works better, plus it looks nicer. Or if you do like the option of lowering it and raising it to treat different parts of the body, chain's not really the best for that. Next up is the price. Well, not necessarily the price of the panel. 
It's the price of shipping and also those return fees. If you're in America, it's not too bad, but if you're looking at getting this in to say Australia, you're gonna pay a lot of money for the shipping. If you're not happy with it and you send it back, not only are you gonna to have to pay for the return shipping, but you're also gonna get stung by that high restocking fee. Platinum LED used to offer free international shipping, but it's not the case now. Not only have they introduced a shipping price, but the prices of the panels have all gone up. We're seeing this across the board. We live in inflationary times. It is to be expected now, but of course it does hurt. You used to be able to get a panel like this shipped to your door for just over $1,000. Now you're going to be paying $1,200, $1,300. As for performance, you're not getting the best coverage of light. Now, this is a tricky one. Because 80% of the light in this panel is going to your 660 and 850, it only leaves a little bit of space for your 810, 830, your 630 nanometer light. So what that means is there'll be certain areas where, yes, you are getting some 810, but it's not going to be a nice even blend across the face of the panel. So if you want 8, 10 nanometer light from shoulder to shoulder down to your belly button, you're going to really have to move around with this panel compared to say some other panels that have a lot more 8, 10. That's just one example. However, like I was saying earlier, I've been using these panels for a long time and have been having some great results. So maybe it doesn't matter that much. And of course we have the blue light in here. Now, not everyone is gonna like the blue light. The great thing is you can just switch it off. So it's not a massive downside. However, some people may get this panel and never use the blue LEDs. And then they may think, well, there's six LEDs in this panel that I'm not using. It could have had more red lights or the 18 nanometer near infrared light, for instance. So I can see why some people don't like it. However, if you decide later on, you wanna tap into the benefits of blue light, at least you know it is there. Finally, I do need to mention that the current 900 is slightly underpowered compared to the smaller Biomax 600. This is done because if you get a bunch of these in one big array, you'll actually trip your circuit breaker. But I've heard that Platinum LED are aware of this and working on creating a solution in the near future, so fingers crossed. Okay, so overall, what do I think? And will I be upgrading my own home personal setup? I don't think I will be upgrading my setup because the changes or the benefits from this panel aren't necessarily big enough to justify the big expense to go out and get four more of these panels. However, if I didn't own any Biomax panels and I was starting out afresh, then sure, I'd definitely go for the latest and greatest version. The wireless connectivity, the remotes, and the addition of blue LEDs are quite useful. Even though you may not value all of those features, there may be a point later on where you do. And as a panel, it works really, really well. Again, you're buying from a company that knows their stuff. It's a good size. It's really nice to use with the touchscreen control panel. You're getting all the wavelengths that you need. However, some may argue you need more power in some of those wavelengths. And it comes packaged well with all the key accessories. It also comes in at a pretty good price point. Yes, there are cheaper options, but there are also a lot more expensive options. And considering all the features you're getting, plus the three-year warranty, I think it does come in at a really good price point. International customers may be a bit more hesitant given the higher shipping costs and that restocking fee. But before you rush out and buy this, I always recommend comparing it to some other panels. Now, of course, I've done a heap of reviews, so you can go check them out, or you can check out the shopping tool over at Light Therapy Insiders. But I'll quickly mention two or three other options while you're here. First up, we have the Lightpath LED XL Shorty. This is more expensive. The control panel isn't as nice as the Biomax, but it puts out a lot of 810 nanometer light and best of all, it's 15 inches wide, which is gonna give you full shoulder to shoulder light coverage. Another option is the Rouge G3. This panel is the same width as the Biomax, has better power output, free international shipping, plus it's cheaper than the Biomax. However, you're only getting 660 nanometer light and 850 nanometer light. So that is a big stumbling block for some. Finally, be sure to subscribe to my channel because this particular Biomax 900 and those two other panels I just mentioned and 13 other red light therapy panels are all gonna be included in one big comparison series. That's gonna go out at the end of 2023 and it's gonna be the best video to help you make an informed decision as to whether you should buy this or another panel. So hit the subscribe button to check that out. And while you're waiting for that video to go out, go check out my last version of that comparison series by clicking here.